This is the too long didn't read how to WooCommerce WooCommerce flat rate shipping video that I made the other day. So here we're going to just breeze through everything and I'm going to get through everything in just a few minutes instead of the about 30 minutes that the complete video for flat rate shipping was. So here we're going to start out again with something very simple and then we're going to get rather complex rather quickly. So sit tight, follow along. This is going to be the too long didn't read on WooCommerce flat rate shipping. Flat rate shipping is essentially the simplest shipping method you can have available. It is by definition a flat, simple, singular rate for almost anything and everything from anywhere to anywhere. Whether I'm shipping two or 500 in this simple version, it's the same price for that shipping. And it is going to get more complex because we do have some options. So let me show you those options and see how and show you how it works. You can get to the flat rate shipping options by going to WooCommerce, Settings, Shipping, and then clicking up on this menu on Flat Rate. There, the first option obviously is to enable or disable it. And then we can change the name to anything we want. For example, flat rate only in Illinois, flat rate only in the USA, or whatever you want. Availability is where you want to en enable flat rate shipping for anywhere in the world or specific countries. Personally, I wish we could get, get make this a bit more granular, but that's okay for now. But And we're just going to set it to the USA. Tax, tax status is a bit important because this says whether the price of the shipping is going to be calculated into the tax cost here. For what we do, we usually leave this as off because shipping, the price that we put here, always include tax already. Uh, if yours don't, then you might want to actually make it taxable. We generally don't. And cost is the base cost, the cost that all flat rate shipping is based off of initially. These costs in here and additional rates are going to be in addition to this cost here. Before we proceed to shipping classes and additional rates, I need to let you know that in the latest versions of WooCommerce, additional rates is disabled by default. You have to put some custom code in your functions.php file to enable it. I've added that code in the description of this video. And if you want to see the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to add that code yourself and where to do it specifically, uh, I've made another video on how to do just that as well. Shipping classes are essentially what you package and how you group the items that you're shipping. For ex in my example here, small boxes, medium boxes, uh, and large boxes. You can change and add costs here. For example, if you're shipping something really, really large, you can say, let's say, plus $100 for a large box, plus $50 for a medium box, and in my case, let's just say for fun, plus $10. So let's save this and let me show you how that works. So there we go. Our item, as I have it over here, is set to a large item. So sweet. Yeah, we have $110 because it's a large item, base shipping of $10, and we added $100, so our that's our cost now. But what do we do if we want, let's say, express shipping or next day air, something like that? That's where the additional rates come in handy. I don't agree with WooCommerce's idea of removing this, but thankfully we got it back. So let me show you how to add these rates. Each additional rate has to go on its own line, and it has three options. First is the name, so we're going to, let's say, flat rate express, what the additional cost is. In the placeholder text, you see it plus percentage. Well, sadly, it doesn't work anymore because they changed it, like I said, so they also removed that functionality. So we have flat rate express plus, let's say, um, $57, just to make it unique, and we're going to say per item. The last options here, it can be per item, per order, or per class. Per order means if they say plus $57 and choose the express shipping, that means that if it's per order, so, that's, so it's easier for you to understand, per order, that means it, even if they pick 500 items, it's only going to add $57 for express shipping. But if it's per item, it's going to say plus $57 per item. So if they have 10 items, it's going to be plus $570. And let's make a super express just for fun. And let's do plus 42, yeah, 420. 
And let's add this one per order just to show you how it works. So we've saved that, reloaded it here. And here are our additional rates already calculated for us. Now, as you see, it's added those numbers, but those numbers look a little bit weird, right? Remember, we have a base cost, we're adding the large shipping class cost, and then we're adding the additional rate costs. So like I said, I added a plus 100, plus 50, and plus 10 for my arbitrary classes over here, but we can do something else. Let's say we, it's this is not pure flat rate, you know, just one cost, doesn't matter how many I ship. Well, let's say I'm shipping t-shirts. If I ship one t-shirt, let's say it's $10. But what if I'm shipping $100? I mean, 100 t-shirts. It's not going to be uh, just $10 to ship 100 t-shirts. It's going to be way more, right? So what we can do is do calculations by quantity. And this applies to both here and in the shipping class cost. So we have two items over here. And remember how it was $110 before? So we have two items times quantity. So that would be 10 times 2, which is 20, plus the 100 because it's a large box, but let's actually remove that. So it's a little bit easier to understand and show you uh, that stuff. So it's $20 because it's 10 times quantity, right? And the same applies for the shipping classes. It could be, instead of putting that here, could the base cost should, could still be that. But now let's do 100 times quantity. And now let's re-add this to the shipping large shipping class and show you how that looks. Hmm. So it's, so it's the $10 base shipping plus 100 plus 100 because there are two items. So plus 200 total. So that's how we get that. But there's also something that we can do for fees because we can also add fees. So let's say our base cost is 10, but our handling, you know, we, we need to package this, we need to get the packages over to our shipping container. So we can say 10 plus a fee and a, based on percentage. So we go per, do percent is equal to, and the percent amount. I usually do 10% uh, for the examples because it's kind of easy. You do not write, by the way, 10%. No, just 10, 10% space and Another fun option is you can set a minimum fee. Minimum fee is let's say $20. So 10% of, for example, $10 is $1, right? But the minimum fee, including all of this stuff is $20. So as long as this fee is above $20, it's gonna use 10%. If it's below $20, it's going to be $20. So let's see how that works there. Cool, huh? So we have our, to show you this example, we have 10 plus 100, right? That we get 210, but there's another 20 here, right? Well, that's where this minimum fee of 20 comes in. Just to illustrate it a little bit more, let's say it's 27, just so it's a unique number and I show you how that works. See, 27, well, that's how that works. Now, flat rate express, as you notice, it's already a way different number. Well, that's because this is using the percent based. It has a minimum fee, but also has a $10 plus a fee of 10%, which would be, so that's 10 plus 50, which is 60 and 10% of that, et cetera, et cetera. We add all those up and that's where you get your flat rate express plus your 57 and sorry, calculate your 10% out of 10 plus 50 plus your 57, 10% from that. And that's how you get th these numbers over here. So that's how those work. And those are your options. You can do a base price, you can add, you can multiply it by quantity if you want, and add additional fees. And that's flat rate shipping in a nutshell.